okay, okay. okay children so we were talking about the perimeter perimeter and if one number is missing okay okay children i'll explain some questions like that mm. okay one minute are you listening to me yes ma'am yes ma'am now um one question i'll give you perimeter is perimeter is 40 don't write now perimeter is 40 okay and length is 12 hmm and what is breadth this is the question don't write now you listen to me first don't write now okay children here when you find the perimeter hmm length and breadth okay children perimeter of a rectangle can you see the figure here can you see the figure yes ma'am yes ma'am okay so if it is um, if it is 10 cm and 5 cm hmm how will you find the perimeter and to will you find the perimeter we will add all the ashishunni not listening don't write now listen to me i will rub all this this is simply for a, an example okay so um, when you add when you find the perimeter we will find uh, do like this 10 plus 5 plus 10 plus 5 right yes isn't it so 2 times 10 plus 5 ma'am we have to write okay children 2 times 10 plus 5 that means when you multiply add 10 and 5 and multiply 2 okay when you add 10 and 5 and multiply 2 you will get the perimeter isn't it Is yes, it so yes ma'am yes then when you add 10 and 5 you will get 15 right yes ma'am that 15 is perimeter is half right perimeter is 30 yes ma'am ah, so that is 30 by 2 half isn't it 15 yes ma'am so when you add length and breadth that is perimeter is half did you understand 15 is 10 plus 5 Fifteen is ten plus five. Are you listening? Why yes, can't you turn on your videos, all of you? Yes. When you add length and breadth, length and breadth is ten and five. Okay. What is the connection between this perimeter thirty and this fifteen? What is the connection? Thirty is half is fifteen. Isn't it? Yes, ma'am. So perimeter is half is the sum of length and breadth. Hmm. Length plus breadth, and when you multiply with the two, you will get a perimeter, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. So what is length plus breadth only? It is half of thirty. Clear. Fifteen. Example, you see, example. That example. Ten and fifteen. Ten and five. When you add ten and five, you will get fifteen, and that fifteen is thirty is half. So perimeter is half, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. So that is like that. This question, when you add two into L plus B, you will get a perimeter. So what is length and breadth here? Perimeter is half. Clear? Did you understand? Yes, when you add length and breadth only one time you will get perimeter is half what is that 40 by 2 what is that 20 20 what is 40 by 2 20 20 what is 40 by 2 can you hear me yes ma'am yes ma'am what is 40 by 2 children 20 that is length plus breadth Ma'am, which question is this? So, and length is twelve, and breadth we don't know, but answer we know it is twenty. So, what is breadth? What is breadth? Twelve plus what is twenty? Twenty 
12 plus what is 20? 8. 8. So 20 minus 12 equal to 8. Clear children? So yes. this concept you have to understand. That is, when you add length and breadth, at its perimeter is half. Add length and breadth and multiply by 2 only you will get a perimeter. Mom, which question? So, length and breadth. When you add length and breadth, the sum is perimeter is half. Clear? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, which question is this? Oh, okay. So, uh, second question. I'll give you. Perimeter Excuse equal me, to? Perimeter equal to 100. This you have to do. Ma'am, first one we perimeter have to Perimeter equal to 100 centimeter. Ma'am, Length first equal to? Yes, 60. One minute. Length equal to 30. And Maybe breadth equal to? Both. You have to find. Ma'am, we have to write this both. Sorry, children, I cannot hear you. Ma'am, we have to write this both. One, and one minute, one minute. Yes? Yes, ma'am. Huh. Okay. Any problem? No, ma'am. No, we ma can do the same method, right? Ma'am, yes, we have to write this too. Do it. Second question you have to do. You are on. Okay, ma'am. Ma ma'am, finish. Okay, children, um, this uh, third question we did, right? Third question, length and breadth of three rectangles are given below. Which has the largest area and which has the smallest? Did you finish yes, that? Ma yes, yes ma'am, we have did it. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Oh, so your sound is very low, children. One minute. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Yes, oh, ma'am. Okay, okay. Now, okay. Did you get the answer of this one? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ah, how will you proceed? How will you start doing? 2 into L plus B equal to how much? 100. 100. Ah, then what is length and blood alone? Yes? Yes? What is length plus 100 by 2? That is very important. And it is 50. So length is 30. And breadth, we don't know. It is 50. So what is breadth? 20. 20 minus 30 equal to 20. So this way you can do this. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All of you got the answer? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, so that is the method of doing.
and i'm asking you uh, is third question we got answer third question finished did yes. we finish yes ma'am oh, okay and uh, then fourth question um uh yes ma'am uh, no ma'am no no, no. Maybe the area of a rectangular garden. garden. No, ma'am, we didn't ah. do. So, will you do it as a homework? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, four, uh, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that is a okay, homework. Page number two hundred and nineteen. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I will uh, discuss now. Mm -hmm. Four, five, six, seven. Homework. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, we have done the fourth question. Ah, so okay. So okay, we have done. No problem. See, children, will you write eighth question now? Eighth question. Will you write yes. now? Eighth yes. question. Yes. Eighth question. A floor is five meter long and four meter wide. Five yes. meter long and four meter wide. A square yes. carpet of sides three meter is laid on the floor. Find the area of the floor that is not carpeted. Okay. Did you finish that? Yes, ma'am. Ah, so eighth question we will do now. There is a floor. Okay, there is a floor, rectangular floor, five meter long and three meter, four meter wide. Okay. Okay. And there is a square carpet. A square carpet. Square carpet is laid on the floor like this. Square carpet. Hello, children. Eighth question. Okay, ma'am. A square carpet is laid on the floor. Hmm. And the side three meter. And the question is: Find the area of the floor that is not carpeted. Find the area of the floor that is not carpeted. Can you see that uh, figure? Yes, ma'am. Uh, in that yes, figure, it is a very small area. Some part is remaining there, right? Remaining, yes, ma'am. How will you yes, find the remaining area? This dotted, dotted region. How will you find it? Just check. Um, um, area of the area of. Ma'am, area of floor minus area of carpet. Parcel. Yes, carpet. yes, you understood, no? Area of the floor minus area, area of the carpet. Of carpet. So only very less area is uh, filled with that carpet. The other uh, some areas are remaining there, balance, vacant. Okay. So um, area of floor. Area of floor is a rectangle. So it is L into B. That is five into four equal to five into four equal to twenty square centimeter. Square meter, and area of uh, carpet, carpet, equal to it is square side into side, equal to three meter into three meter equal to nine mm -hmm. square meter. And what is the area, area which is not carpeted area, that is not carpeted, not carpeted. Carpeted equal to twenty minus nine equal to eleven square meter is vacant. It is not carpeted. 
I think it is clear to you. When we draw some okay. rough sketch, you will understand. Clear, children? Whenever yes, you get yes. a question, if possible, you draw a rough sketch, then it will be easy. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Shravana, Altina, Savio, Abhinav, Ayush. Did you understand? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Ashish. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, uh, shall I move to the ninth one? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Shall I repeat? Ma'am, one minute. Yes. So, will you write the ninth question? Those yes, who finished? Yes. Uh, ninth question. Ninth question. Ninth question. Ninth. Five square beds. Finish. Namasya. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, one minute. Yes. Okay. Okay, children. Five square beds. Square beds means square flower beds means like uh, some with uh, with a uh, lot of flowers. Have you seen in a park? Yes, ma'am. Some area is filled with uh, uh, full of flowers. Yes, Yes, ma'am. With uh, plants with the full of flowers. So yes, ma we won't see that leaf and all. We'll see only the flowers. Okay. Ma'am, it has been so shaped like into yes? a particular shape. Huh? Ma'am, the plant is shaped into a particular shape. Like ah, yes, yes, in a particular shape. Actually, five square flower beds, each of sides one meter, are dug on a piece of land. It is like a park. Okay, so there is like a park space. Uh, 5 meter long. It is a rectangular space. 5 meter long and 4 meter wide. Okay. In that, okay. 5 square flower buds. So, 1 square this one. Like that, 5 are there. On 2, 3, Four, five. What is its shape? What is its shape? Square. Side is one meter. Everything. How will you find the remaining area? Can you see some vacant place there? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma How will you find the remaining area? 
Ma'am, first um, we uh, ma must be of the land. area of the land. Yes. Then we area find of the rectangle. Right then, ma'am, we find the area. Area, the area uh, one uh, flower bed. Uh, is it enough? No, ma'am. We no, should no, find the area. There are five I flower beds. Yes, oh, ma'am. Okay. Then so area we... one flower bed into five. We have to do. Ma Clear. We... Yes, ma'am. There are five flower beds, not only one. If there is only one flower bed, no problem. We can directly do. But there are five flower beds. So one flower bed's area into five. Into you five. have to do. And how will you find the remaining part? Ma'am, uh, uh, area of flower beds. My uh, area, area of land of minus. Land minus. Area of the flower area of, area of flower beds. Okay, so we'll do it now. Area of floor equal to not floor. Area of uh, land equal to L into B equal to five into four equal to twenty square meter. Then area of one flower bed. One flower bed is in a square shape. So one meter into one meter, you will get the answer. One square meter. So area of five square beds, square flower beds, we have to find five. Area of five flower beds. Flower beds equal to five into one equal to five. Five square meter. Now. Area of remaining land. Remaining land. Land equal to area of area of land minus area of flower beds. Can you see the board? Yes, Did you understand yes, the question properly? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so 20 minus 5, 15 square meter is vacant. 15 square meter is vacant. Uh, when I drew this uh, rough figure, you understood it properly, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Ah, the same way when you yeah. get a question, you just draw a rough sketch. So you'll understand it very easily. Can you finish it? You tell me. Yes. I'll discuss the next question. So all the questions we covered in the chapter, right? Yes. All types of questions. Uh, if you have any doubt, you can ask me in the next day. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, class test of this chapter. Class test. Okay. When shall I give the next? Next day, not not this week. Next week. Okay. 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 Next Friday, shall I keep? Yes. Not tomorrow. Next okay. Friday. Yes. Okay. Okay. So there is a class just on next Friday. Okay. I don't know the date and all. On next Friday because Friday we have how many periods? We have two periods, right? Yes, ma'am. Ah, ma so yes, Friday is class test of 29. the chapter mensurish. Yes? Ma'am, next Friday is 29th. Ah, 29th. So I'll keep the class test. Next Friday, chapter of mensuration. Okay, dear children, uh, shall we move? Shall we proceed? Yes, ma'am. Now, yes, ma now ma I'm going to rub this. Next question is for an, activ an activity for you. I used to give this an activity. Can you see two figures there? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Can ma you see two figures? 
Actually, it is very interesting. You have to find the area of these shapes. Okay, okay it is an activity. Okay, children? Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. You can do it in a four sheet. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma By next week. I'll okay. show you how it is. It is a figure like this. Okay. So, you have to draw some, make it into different rectangles, squares. If possible, and find the area of that. One example I'll give you. If if I join this here, here, and here, second figure. Okay? That whole figure is divided into how many rectangles, children? Three. 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 Uh, so, one rectangle, this, this rectangle, what is the length and the breadth? So area of that rectangle two. two. Again, what about this? This is same. He, even if this is three, three, three means that whole one, that whole piece. Its length is same as this. Isn't it? Okay, okay, so it is two itself. Huh? Okay, okay. So two into one, two yeah. itself. Now what about this one? What is the length and the breadth? One because here it is two and the total is three. So remaining is one, right? Yes, ma'am. So five into one. This is two into one. This is two into one. So totally two, two and five. So what is the area? Nine. Clear. So you have to split this into different rectangles. Anyway, any possible way like this. Okay? Any possible way you can do. Ask you like. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes? Ma'am, this is activity, right? Sorry? Ma'am, this is activity, right? Activity, in for sheet. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so this is your activity. Ma'am, like this, this how two. many shapes should we take? Activity, yes. Ma'am, like this, how many shapes should we draw? Two, only two. One, two. Okay, ma'am. No need to drawing any other. This tenth question fully. Okay. Okay, ma'am. This ma is your activity. Do it in a four sheet. Ma'am, it should be submit. Next week only. Next week, I'll sub. I'll tell the date okay. after the class test. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Uh, activity in a four sheet. Okay. You understood okay, the idea? Yes, yes ma'am. Fitting that whole figure into different rectangles, you can find the area separately. Clear? Yes. Hmm? Okay. Now. One more is there. Okay. If you want this also, you do. This also. Same figure. Okay. So there are two figures. One is this. And the other is in the next page. 11th question. Ma'am, we can choose okay. any two figures from this. Any? We can choose any two figures from this. No, no, no. Three figures. Sorry, five figures. Now, totally, how many figures are there? Five. five. Uh, five. One, five. two, yeah. next page also. Three, four, five. And after the class test only, uh, the date I will, uh, next week only, but after the class test, you submit. Okay? Can you see the class test date once more? Friday, 29th. Okay, ma'am. So these are the activities. Now children, this last question. How many tiles whose length and breadth are 12 centimeters and 5 centimeters respectively will be needed to fit in a rectangular garden whose length and breadth are respectively? Ma'am, we have to How write will that. you find the number of tiles, children? How will you find the number of tiles? Number of tiles, how will you find? 
Hello. Yes, ma'am. How will you find the number of tiles? Ma'am, first we will find uh, area. Area of rectangle. Uh, area of rectangle divided by rectangle Mommy, region divided by the area of tile. Isn't Mommy, it? Have tried this. Isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. So twelfth question answer. Twelfth question. First one is length equal to hundred. Not length equal to length. We will take length as the more one forty four. Even though it is written like this, length is one forty four and breadth equal to hundred centimeter. So area of rectangle equal to area of rectangle equal to L into B one forty four into hundred. Then area of tile. Area of tile that is also rectangular tile. This is square centimeter rectangular tile. Twelve into five equal to sixty square centimeter. So number of tiles equal to this one forty four zero zero divided by sixty. <laughs> Okay, second one, the same one. Area of rectangle equal to area of rectangle. Second question B. Rectangle is different. Area of rectangle is seventy into thirty six equal to two five two zero. Area of rectangle equal to square centimeter. Then area of tile we already found. Children write fast because it is time. Children are waiting there. L into B is twelve into five equal to sixty square centimeter. Number of tiles equal to two five two zero two thousand five hundred twenty divided by sixty. This is two forty tiles, and this one's answer is. Forty-two tiles. Okay, this was the last question. I'm finished. Two questions. I'm finished. Right, Mom fast children. So tomorrow I'll start the new lesson, and it is ratio. Oh. Mom, I finished. Do both you wrote? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, how many of you did not finish? All finished? Yes, ma'am. Shall I uh, wind up now? Yes, ma'am. Others, will you take a screenshot? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, bye, children. Bye, ma'am. Bye, children. Bye. Uh, we have Bye, done almost all the questions. Some extra questions also. And uh, uh, did you understand all the questions this chapter? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Yes. If you have any yes. doubt, you ask me in the next day. 
and okay. when you study for class test you study thoroughly this chapter because next year and after that also we have the application of this chapter okay okay ma'am continuation okay, ma so study well for the class test for the it is not tomorrow it is next friday okay children okay ma'am bye bye bye, bye. bye. okay thank, thank you ma'am thank you